This is Thames from London. America buys 300 hawks work through the 1990s. Mr. Kinnock condemns violence, illegality and Mrs. Thatcher. The pit foremen have a coal piece formula. Mr. Callahan warns Labour, don't rupture the nuclear balance. And Britain manoeuvres to get its European money. Good evening. Britain's aircraft industry has won a £600 million contract from the United States Navy. It will secure jobs well into the 1990s. British Aerospace and Rolls-Royce have secured the contract to supply 300 Hawk trainer jets. British Aerospace, who will deliver the planes in kit form, get a £400 million contract. That makes it an even bigger deal than the recent Airbus contract by Pan Am. Rolls-Royce will make the engines. The deal almost doubles the number of Hawk aircraft built. The first planes are due to go into service in 1990. It was nearly three years ago that the United States Navy first declared its interest in the British Aerospace Hawk. In November 1981, it was selected as the only contender to go through a final development phase for a new aircraft to train American Navy pilots to fly jets both from land and from aircraft carriers. The selection came after British Aerospace took a Hawk to America to be looked at by US Navy pilots. The aircraft had been made world famous by the RAF's Red Arrows aerobatic team and is now in service in seven different countries. The selection of the Hawk was made in direct competition with the Franco-German Alpha Jet trainer, similar in size and performance to the Hawk, which has also won widespread overseas sales. But although the Hawk has been the only plane the US Navy wanted for the past three years, American forces purchasing of any piece of foreign-made equipment is notoriously slow and difficult. Last autumn, the whole project was threatened with a two-year delay when the US Congress began to make cuts in President Reagan's defense budget. And there were times when British Aerospace feared the contract might slip away from them altogether. Once we'd won, in the teeth of not only American national competition, but international correspond, uh, competition, and the aircraft had won outright, then it was quite obvious that we were going to get the national lobbies against us. And a lot of senators and a lot of congressmen, quite naturally, were protecting the industries of their own constituencies. And they were making a lot of noise about this great contract for the US Navy, basic training that must go to the US. It can't possibly go to a foreign uh, supplier and yet um, we have managed to hold that off. To make it suitable to operate from an aircraft carrier, the Hawk will be modified with stronger undercarriage and an arrestor hook. But the US Navy's final endorsement of this aircraft should give the Hawk a considerable further boost in world markets. Labour's leader, Mr Neil Kinnock, said today he condemned all violence by pickets and by police, 